Hello, I'm John Decker. I'm an instructor in the Interactive Digital Systems Program here at Flint Hills Technical College. Today, with the help of my students, we're going to talk about the three-point lighting system. Now, lighting can be very intimidating to some people who are new to it, but hopefully after you watch today's video, you'll be a little more comfortable with setting up your own lights. So let's take a look at what three-point lighting is all about. Let's start by defining three-point lighting. Three-point lighting is probably one of the most common lighting setups to use um, either in digital video or even in a photography studio. Um, it's commonly used to light interview situations and uh, as you might have guessed, it involves three lights. Um, it's based on using a key light. Over here we're using uh, our key light. If you're shooting outside, an uh, example of the key light would be the sun. It's usually the brightest light in the setup. Um, we have a fill light. The fill light is used to fill in the shadows and to complement the key light. And then we have a hair light, which is used to um, pull your subject off the background. It creates a halo effect around the shoulders and the hair. There are many types of uh, lighting systems to choose from out there. Um, today we're using an airy lighting system, and uh, we have an airy 650 to use as our key light, an airy 300 to use as our fill light, and an airy 150 to use as our hair light. And today we're going to take a look at each of those individually, and then we will combine them and show you the final effect. First, let's look at the key light. Um, now you can see that it's turned on. Um, it's lighting the scene. You can see my face. Um, but unfortunately, it creates a pretty harsh shadow on this side of my face. Um, used alone, it can be used to create a very dramatic lighting effect. Um, but in most situations, it's, it's not very flattering to have these heavy shadows cast. Um, it's typically positioned um, on one side of the camera, about a 45 degree approximately angle from that camera and um, is set just above, um, not level with my head, but just a little bit above my head. Next, we'll look at the fill light. Um, as you can see, this one isn't quite as bright as our key light. Typically, it's about half the power of our key light. Um, you can adjust that as necessary. Um, if they get to be of equal power, sometimes the light will flatten out and we won't have as, a, um, as much depth in our final image. It's usually positioned on the opposite side of the camera as our key light. Um, it's used to fill in those harsh shadows that were created by the key light. Um, as you look at this image, it may not look like it's exposed well enough, a little underexposed, and that's fine. Um, once we add the two together, um, the exposure will be much better. Last, we're going to talk about our hair light or our backlight. Um, this light obviously is placed behind the subject, and typically it is opposite of our key light. Um, the goal is to create a halo effect um, that pulls the head and the shoulders off the background. So we're looking for this halo coming around the shoulder and across the hair. Um, hopefully we're getting some spill onto the secondary shoulder and uh, creating that halo and just pulling me off the background. Um, quite often people don't use a backlight and their images just sort of blend into the background. So it's a good idea if you have this as an option um, to use it to help pull your subjects off the background. Also, it is the lowest wattage of all the lights that we're using here today, so it doesn't need to be real bright compared to the other two. Now let's see what it looks like with all three of these lights combined. First, let's start with our key light. Again, you see the harsh shadows that created on this side of my face by just using the one light source. So we'll add the fill light and this has helped fill in those shadows, um, but there's still some shadows there that add a little depth to the overall image. And then finally, we will add the hair light or the backlight. And this should pull me off of the dark background just a little bit. Um, my shoulders have a little highlight on them now, and uh, it's subtle, but it adds a little more professional look to your videos. Understanding the purpose of the key light, the fill light, and the hair light will help you successfully light your scene. Uh, with a little practice, a little patience, and a little experience, you'll quickly find that it's not as bad as you may expect. Um, just a word of warning here today, um, depending on the types of light you use, they can become very hot during the shooting. Um, make sure when you're tearing down your set that you wear the proper safety equipment. Uh, may include leather gloves and uh, maybe just letting them cool down before you tear it down. On behalf of my students, uh, Flint Hills Technical College and the IDS program, I uh, want to thank you for watching our video today, um, and we wish you luck in all your future lighting situations.